The war in Ukraine will end in a Korean scenario when after the cessation of active hostilities, the conflict will not have a final solution for many years. This opinion was expressed by the president of Serbia, Alexander Vucic, whose words are quoted by N. Susivo media outlet. In the end, peace will come. Others have already mentioned this, but I'm talking about it for the first time. That is why the fight will be for every village and every city, and it will become more and more fierce and stronger. The Korean scenario will be achieved, and then it will continue for 10, 20, 30, 50 years without a final solution. Just like North and South Korea were once divided, once a united country, Busik said, According to him, although America will continue to fight hard against Russia in Ukraine, for the Americans themselves, the topic of the Russian-Ukrainian war is of secondary importance. Therefore, according to Vucic, America will first and foremost look after its own interests. At the same time, the Serbian president warned against underestimating the Russian army, as has already happened with the underestimation of the Russian economy, which was able to withstand sanctions. Recall from time to time, various public speakers predict a Korean scenario for the end of the war for Ukraine. Some, such as former NATO commander James Stavridis, consider this a good option for Ukraine compared to the alternatives. The Korean scenario is a comparison with the situation on the Korean Peninsula, where after the Korean War of 1950 to 1953, hostilities ceased but a peace agreement was never signed. Korea remained divided into two states, North and South, which lay claim to all of each other's territory and do not recognize the legitimacy of their opponent. In the context of Ukraine, this scenario envisages the cessation of active hostilities but without a final political solution to the conflict. That is, Russia will de facto hold the occupied territories indefinitely, but Ukraine and the rest of the world will not recognize them as sovereign parts of Russia. Russia will also consider Kherson and Zaporozhye its territories, although they will remain under the Ukrainian control. Buildings have been reduced to rubble as Israel intensifies its attack on Lebanon, striking numerous places including the capital. One of the hardest hit areas is Nabati in southern Lebanon. Israel dramatically intensified its airstrikes in Lebanon this week saying it is determined to put an end to more than 11 months of Hezbollah fire into its territory. The escalated campaign has killed more than 720 people in Lebanon, including dozens of women and children, according to health ministry statistics. The United Nations said the fighting has displaced 211,000 people, including 85,000 now staying in public schools and other shelters. Airstrikes have forced 20 primary healthcare centers to shut down and disrupted access to clean water for nearly 300,000 people.